Hi friends. Welcome to my not a sewing video. I'm your friend Emily, just reminding you of my name. And today's tea is not tea. Just in case you were worried that I was eating tea with my fingers. Um, it's chips. I'm having chips for breakfast in a teacup because I can. This is one of my favorite teacups though. It was given to me by a coworker after I continually tried to explain to her um, why I drink tea out of a mug at work um, when she insisted that I should drink it out of a teacup even though she didn't drink tea. Um, here, I'll, I'll show you. Visual. Visual. Teacup. Mug. Now, teacups are lovely. Um, and uh, there's, there's very little I love more than drinking tea out of a teacup. But they also hold very little and you have to continually refill if you want to have more tea. Um, I don't have time in the workplace to continually refill my tea with hot water. So um, I would drink my tea out of mugs. So one year I got lipstick on my tea cup. I'm like, ah, get it off, get it off. So one year, for Christmas, my coworker gave me this. I have no idea where she found it, but it is a mug sized teacup, which is just amazing and joyful and makes me happy. So now when I want to drink a lot of tea um, and I want to feel fancy, I have my mug sized teacup to do so. So it's Sunday, not Friday, not Saturday, it's Sunday. Um, I really just needed, uh, kind of a mental health weekend. I know I talk about the woes of being an adult college student in almost every video, even if I just mention it the tiniest bit, but I can't help it. <laughs> it is the bane of my existence. Um, it rules my life. It takes over all of my time. Um, I am in my final semester. I have been going to college on and off. This is going to date me and it's going to hurt <laughs> since the turn of the century, guys. <laughs> so, um, and I just, I am not a great student. Uh, my ideal learning style is not the way the, the, the strict rigidity of the quizzes and the tests and the pressure of the grading and it's just it's really it's really tough <laughs> so um my camera just did something weird oh, anyway sorry distraction um so it's it's really hard for me to be a student which is why i have stopped and started also like there were boys and I stopped and started and there were marriages and divorces and I stopped and started and there were moves and I stopped and started and there were changes in uh, majors. So I stopped and started um, and there was no money and then there was money and then there was no money and I stopped and started. But now I am in my final semester <laughs> and these last classes are a nightmare. They are the hardest the most homework heavy, the most study heavy, the most just highest expectations. Um, and, and one of my classes, the layout is completely different than um, any other of the, of the courses I've taken because it's done by an outside teacher. It's actually a life coaching class. Bet you didn't know I was interested in that. And, uh, and it's more like a course. Anyway, needless to say, it's damaging my calm, people. Um, uh, I have very little time for anything else. Friends, sewing, 
projects, my house, my husband, my dog, my sanity. And uh, this next week is the, is the middle of the semester, so it's midterms. And I also found out that there was a big, huge project I was supposed to be working on from the beginning that I just didn't even realize existed, so now I've got to play catch up. So that's why um, my videos are going to be a little, I don't know, they may, some of them may not be that fun um, until like the end of July. <laughs> um, I did, however, apply for graduation and purchase my cap and gown, which feels weird. It feels surreal. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so last semester I was supposed to go to two events and I was going to get to wear two of the newest uh, outfits that I have recently sewn. And I was so excited. One is the green dress that I have talked about and talked about and talked about and had issues with and fixed. Well, fixed enough to wear. Don't expect miracles. Um, and then a 1790s uh, transition gown, which transitions from that uh, late... I, I keep researching the eras, and there's two overlapping eras. Do you know that the Georgian era and the Regency era actually overlap? So even though I want to say it goes from the Georgian era to the Regency era, it doesn't actually because they they overlap, so they happen at the same time. But it kind of helps uh, influence the fashions that come into play in the Regency era, where um, the waistline moves all the way up to an empire waist, and, uh, and then the skirts drop from there, and sleeves tighten up a little bit. Anyway, I was going to get to wear both of those this last weekend, and then my sweet dog, George, got outside, ate some trash, um, and was violently ill. And being a puppy mom, I stayed home with him, and laid on the floor with him, and laid in the bed with him, and I love him to pieces. I love him to pieces, but I kind of understand parents right now because I was so mad too. I was like, why are you doing this to me? I need this. So this week has been tough because all week long with the stress of all that's going on with school, um, I also had in the back of my mind that I didn't get to do these things I was so excited to go do with my friends and have fun. Didn't get to go do them. But I have an amazing photographer friend, Rachel at Rachel E. Jones Photos, uh, or photography, one of those two. Um, I actually uh, linked her on my post, my Instagram post yesterday with a selfie I took. Um, she was taking graduation photos of a young lady yesterday at the beautiful Point Defiance Park. And she's just gotten a new camera. So she asked if I'd come along to kind of assist her, but also be willing to let her take photos of me as like a test subject. And I was like, okay. And she's like, dress up cute and you know, come. And, and it was raining and I did not care. I took my cutest umbrella um, and we walked around and she took pictures of me in the rain. And, um, and I'm horrible at posing. I mean, you know my friend, Lady Rebecca Fashions, who just is perfect, just, she does like the perfect Disney princess poses and looks amazing in her photos. I, I'm like, like, I have no idea how to pose. I mean, and then I, my face freezes up. So I'm like, she kept telling me, relax your face, relax your face. And I'd be like, So I kept shaking my face and stuff to, it was no good. Anyway, this is turning into way more vlogs, sorry. Um, but we had so much fun. It was so relaxing walking around the beautiful gardens and uh, 
we went around this duck pond area, it was so pretty, and she was so kind and just so good at directing me, you know, oh, why don't you try this with your hand, turn your face this way, do this, oh, that looks so good, that looks so good, and I just felt like, <sighs> I just felt so relaxed, and I felt pretty, and I felt like I was getting my steps in, because I sit in front of a computer all freaking day, um, and, and I was in the rain, which I forgot that I love. I think sometimes I get into that whole, oh no, I'm going to get wet headspace, and I forget that that's not a huge deal, and it actually feels amazing sometimes to get in the rain. Of course, my hair, this is slept on rain hair, so it's this kind of weird <laughs> hair look, but, um, yeah, this is slept on. I haven't even done my hair, you guys. I put some makeup on, slapped some makeup on, but this is like, I woke up and this was my hair. So welcome to my sleep hair. Um, but I think it actually turned out pretty. I usually curl my hair with curling irons and whatnot, but, um, I didn't cause I knew we were going to be in the rain. So I just kind of straightened it out a bit and it got all wavy and kind of pretty. And I was just, it was a great day. I feel so much more relaxed. And so I think I need to remember that to feel more relaxed, I need to take time for myself. Even if there is no time to take for myself, I need to just do it and take it and do it. If it means going to a park and walking around with a friend, if it means, you know, taking a few hours and going to a movie or, you know, uh, dressing up in a costume and being like, we are doing tea, we're doing it now. Um, I just need to do it because I need my sanity. I was talking to my sweet mother a couple of days ago and she was like, well, with you being so busy with your homework and, and your schoolwork and everything, uh, you just need to put your sewing aside and not do your sewing. And I wanted to explain to her that that's not possible, but she is a very different person than me. Um, so I knew she wouldn't really understand. To her, that makes perfect sense any of these extracurricular activities, hobbies and stuff need to go to the side while you're getting, you know, the important things of life done. Um, what she doesn't understand is that for someone like me to keep our mental health up, to keep our emotional stability up, to feel like you're not drowning, we need these things. We need them. I mean, I hate sewing. I've told you this. I hate it. It is awful. I feel like I'm so bad at it and things turn out badly and wrong and so often. But the end result is a lovely thing that I can wear and run around in and frolic with my friends who are also dressed up and that brings me joy. And so the process of sewing, knowing that when I'm done with it, I get to put it on and, and just go do my things. That's what brings me joy. And so I need to take more time, even if it's like an hour at night, something, and I need to sew, you know, we all do. We should be doing this together. Cause I, I know, I know some of you are also struggling with like your time management and probably your emotional and mental health. And uh, we all need to sew, guys. We, we should sew together. I don't really know how to do that, but we should do it. Um, I know you don't really believe that I sew. And if any, if I do make anything, you probably believe it's glued together or like magically appears in my house. Uh, but I do sew and, um, and you should too because we should all be sewing so that we can have costumes that are affordable to wear and fit our bodies and we can frolic because frolicking is so important. Frolicking is joy, my friends. Frolicking is joy. If you take nothing else away from today's video, frolicking is joy. <sighs> I had more to talk about, but per usual, I did not write it down. Um, I'm not really sure what to do for my next project. I really wanted to 
probably fixing my blocking skirt and then working on maybe a matching vest or something for it, but per usual, I'm not feeling it. So I also have a natural form air dress that is just in pieces hanging around, not in pieces actually, it's fairly made-ish, that keeps getting set down out of frustration that maybe I should pick up and try working on again. Um, but I'm just not feeling the, I don't know, part of me thinks I should work on a either like more modern or retro type dress uh, because I think I'd like to make a graduation dress. Something that I could wear to my college graduation that I have made myself. I mean, I put so much time and effort into achieving this degree that why not make my own dress to wear to my graduation? Um, I think I really like this idea. Um, if you have any ideas for me on the type of dress I should make, maybe like a style or something, I am all ears because I'm in the very beginning stages. I basically conceived this idea yesterday while I was watching my friend take photos of a recent college graduate who was wearing a special outfit that she had just for that day. Um, I like the idea of making something and special to wear. So maybe that'll be my next project. I graduate on uh, the middle of July, July 20th actually. And um, July is going to be a busy month. It's going to be really busy for me. Do you have like a really busy month coming up? June, it's mostly school. Really, I'm actually thrilled that there isn't much going on in June, but July, I've got like a family reunion thing that I absolutely have to attend to because is it is my, it's celebrating my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. I mean, staying married for 50 years is such an accomplishment in, in this day and age. Um, and then there's, uh, my graduation and then there's costume college. Um, and I feel like there's one more thing. I feel like there's four things, which is just so much in July, as well as finishing my semester. So there's projects due and finals and just, <sighs> I'm stressed guys. I'm stressed. Lots of stress. Uh, I feel like, um, I have more to offer. Do you ever feel that way? Like you're not doing everything you should be doing. Like you have more talents and more skills and more, just more. Like there's more of you that you should be putting out there. Um, I've been thinking about auditioning again. I recently submitted an audition to a rather large theater that I am kind of regretting doing, uh, because I feel ridiculous having done that. Um, especially since I have yet to do anything other than my murder mystery dinner gigs in Washington. Uh, and, um, I think I need to attempt to get back into theater, even on a small scale, you know, person in the background, town's person, Maybe even helping out at a theater, like getting into volunteering or, um, I've never done, I mean, I have done like set work and, um, but okay. So I don't remember exactly what I was saying, but my phone did an Amber alert and it apparently stopped my video and I'm really hoping I can figure out how to put that video with this one. If not, then there's going to be two videos. Um, basically, I was saying that I think I should get more into theater because I loved theater. And also, um, I used to be super involved in like Ren Fairs. And, uh, and I also used to do this historical education program where I dress up as various historical characters. And I went to... 
uh, basically any teacher that wanted me. Um, there was English teachers, history teachers. I even went to theater classes. Um, super fun and I haven't done that in years and that could be fun to I don't know start that up again um, I just need more opportunities to share myself to get myself out there to feel more like myself because like everyone these past few years I've just been feeling like I'm not doing what I should be doing. I don't know if I'm putting that right. Uh, it's actually been more than the past few years for me. It's been several years. Um, I stopped doing a lot of things I loved after my second divorce. Um, and uh, it, when my, my self-esteem took its biggest hit and I gained a bunch of weight, like the majority of my weight gain happened after my second divorce. And um, I, have an, I have an amazing husband. A handsome hubby is just the greatest joy of my life. I have an amazing puppy. I have amazing friends. I live in a beautiful place. It's time to pick myself up and dust myself off and start all over again. Okay, sorry. Um, this is this is definitely a little more vlo uh, bloggy than than costumey. I apologize. Um, I am hoping to take some pictures in the costumes I finished uh, within the next week or so. I I can't be specific because I don't know. It just depends on when things get done and what kind of spare time I can dig up. Um, but I still constantly enjoy hearing about what you all are working on and what you all are doing. I read through all of your comments, even if I don't reply or respond, um, I am reading your comments and I do try to reply and respond sometimes. I just, I, I'm like, okay, I'm going to come back to this and then I don't come back to it and I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to be perfect, but I'm so far from perfection that it's like, woo. Um, this is kind of more of an apology video. It's turning into a very weird apology vlog thing going on. So I'm going to stop here, but I... I appreciate all of your patience, especially when I am like, um, I'm not going to get a video out today. Mm, I'm not going to get a video out tomorrow. I'm going to try to be better about that. But this week I just, I just needed a few days of, of time to myself, of picking myself up, dusting myself off. Sing it with me and starting all over again. <laughs>